Welcome into Minnesota Vikings. Now I am your host, R.C. Maxfield, and the Minnesota Vikings, they, they didn't make it easy on themselves in week number six, but they did improve to 3-3 three and three on the season, going down to Carolina and handing the Panthers their third straight loss in overtime. 34-28, the Vikings will head back to Minnesota even on the year. And again, you're looking at these stats right now. Kirk Cousins, absolute dominant day for the quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. 373 yards. Dalvin Cook and Adam Thielen go over 100 yards respectively. And really, I mean, the offense looked outstanding, but that is not the storyline of this game. We'll get to the major storyline here in just a second. But before we do that, let me know your one-word reaction to the Vikings win over the Panthers in this one. Again, Minnesota going to 3-3 three and three on the year, handing the Carolina Panthers their third straight loss without Christian McCaffrey. Dalvin Cook, Christian McCaffrey, a lot of fantasy people wanted to see that matchup to no avail as the Panthers didn't hold up their end of the bargain. The Vikings did as they escape with a 34-28 win. Let me know your one-word reaction. Speaking of the Vikings offense, and it was dominant today, 571 total yards, 34 points, Kirk Cousins throws for 373 yards, and they almost rush for 200. I mean, when you look at what's going on, right, my one word for this team and what happened this week with this offense and the defense, they're resilient. I mean, my goodness, they came in and they sputtered a little bit early and often and kind of hung on to a lead. Carolina did them a couple favors, but they really turned it on in the second half and then in overtime got the ball didn't give it back, and K.J. Osborne ended it and chunked his helmet what looked like 15 rows into the stands down in Charlotte. And, hey, when you win 34-28 on a walk-off, you can do what you please if you're K.J. Osborne, and he did just that. But go back to school for me real quick on this one. The Vikings offense versus the Panthers, right? Oh, over 500 total yards, almost rushed for 200, right? A, B, C, D, or F for the Vikings offense against the Panthers. I'm probably going in A, on this, I thought this was arguably their best performance of the season against the Carolina defense that a lot of people were boasting and trying to prove that, hey, maybe they're a top five defense in the NFL. Kirk Cousins made them look pedestrian on this one. And these numbers, you love it if you start them in fantasy. But guess who didn't start them in fantasy? The host and the guy you're listening to right now. I left them on my bench. I will learn my lesson there. 33 of 48, 373 yards, and three touchdowns for Kirk Cousins, who just had a great day overall, and it helps when you have a guy like Dalvin Cook in the backfield, right? 29 carries, 140 yards rushing, one touchdown. He made things easy and allowed the Vikings offense to really almost be a 50-50 split when it came down to it. Dalvin Cook, when he's healthy, as we all know, is one of the best running backs in the NFL. He proved that today against a very good Carolina front. And speaking of being one of the best in the NFL, Adam Thielen might be getting up there in age. But don't let that fool you. 11 for 126 in a tutty. And when I say that, a tutty, I mean probably the best touchdown catch of maybe all of week six outside of Donovan Peoples-Jones on that Hail Mary for the Browns. It was an absolutely electric touchdown for Adam Thielen on that one. And in a critical moment, too, Kirk Cousins with a dot right over the pylon. Adam Thielen doing what he's done for years now and coming up and being reliable for his quarterback. And you know who's also reliable? Us right here at Minnesota Vikings today. Hit that big red button and stay in the know all season long. Minnesota back at 500, and we're trying to keep you in the know. The more subs we get, well, the more videos we'll have out there. We're creeping up on 1,300 subscribers. Why can't we get to 2,000 here in the next 10 days? You tell me. Tell your friends about the best Minnesota Vikings channel on YouTube. Best part about it, it's absolutely free. All you have to do is hit that big red button right here on Minnesota Vikings today. The Vikings defense, this is the storyline for me in this one. 306 total yards. They did give up 28 points. But when you allow Sam Darnold to only throw for 188 yards, I mean, you were giving this man fits all day. He has nightmares thinking about Daniil Hunter or coming off the edge there. Harrison Smith, whoever you want to imagine coming off of the edge there and really putting pressure on him, even from the secondary and Harrison Smith, 
he was in his head all day. Sam Darnold was, and Harrison Smith was absolutely electric in this one with nine tackles, really allowed that secondary to pick and choose where they wanted to go. Did they want to double team potentially Robbie Anderson? Did they want to put a lot of attention on DJ Moore? It allowed them to kind of shuffle things around and make Sam Darnold really uncomfortable. And speaking of being uncomfortable, Daniil Hunter did just that on Sam Darnold. He was in the backfield constantly. Now, no sacks or anything like that, but it seemed like he was always in the party that was around Sam Darnold when he was making a bad decision with pressure in his face. Really loved what I saw from Daniil Hunter on the outside, and really this Vikings defense in general, my whole tone has changed after seeing this game. And again, I know it's Sam Darnold without Christian McCaffrey, but Joe Brady's a really good offensive coordinator. He knows what he's doing. I like Matt Rule as the head coach down there, and they know how to scheme up an offense really, really well. And when your defense can go down there, and yeah, they had some lapses in judgment and gave up 28 points, but the total yard that they gave up really allowed them to stay in this football game, and Kirk Cousins in the offense just absolutely capitalized on the success of the defense. But real quick, before we get out of here, you tell me, how confident are you in the Vikings defense? Scale it 1 to 10. After this week, I'm probably in that 6.5, 7 range. I love what they're doing, and they're slowly getting a little healthy. But let me know down in the comments how confident you are in this Vikings defense.